Hello YouTube, um, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to connect your database diagram. So I've gone ahead and opened my Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and I'm about to connect but before I connect I want to show you something. Mm, so if you, under the server name if you click browse for more the collapse here and then click browse for more and then under your local servers if you check under the database engine you see the here this is my computer name that is registered under this database engine so if I connect here I should be able to connect without any problem now if you want to to create your database diagram just op go, go ahead and open the database that you that you want to create um, with the respective tables so if I did collapse here you should be able to see the corresponding tables to this database so if you click on database diagram and then right click and then click on new database diagram there is this error 15404 which says it could not obtain the NTO group users etc. This has to do with um, the Active Directory or Windows group or user not being found uh, by SQL. The user has been previously registered but for some reason it's no longer accessible or not found by the by the database engine so how to fix this is to connect as a system administrator how do you do that you go to tournaments rather you go to your database in my case it's the tournament database and then you click on properties and then you go to files and then you see that this owner here was my previously um, it was the it was the owner that was created when I installed uh, SQL server right but I decided to change it because it was too long I didn't like it it was created by default when I installed Windows so I decided to go with the the one that you saw at the beginning of the video when I showed you that uh, the username or the, the the name that is registered under the database engine is my name rather but this name still exists amongst the owners because it was created by by windows and it was registered when i installed now it's no longer accessible so to fix the error you can simply click on here then browse then scroll down until you see sa system administrator in other words you're elevating the privileges you, you can then be able to access certain privileges that this user no longer has so if you click OK and then OK and if you come back to your database diagram right click new database diagram and there you go ok thanks so much for watching I uh, hope you like this video. Like and subscribe for more videos. See you next time.